Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the map enhancement mod for Microsoft Flight Sim coming up on this episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back everyone. So before we get started in today's video, I first would like to go over what we are and are not going to be covering. This is not going to be a side-by-side -side comparison video. If you would like to see a video like that, Overkill had just done one a couple days ago. I'll post a link up here. You can check that out. What we are going to be covering in the video is the download and installation process from flightsim.to. And then we're going to go over all the different features and functions of the map enhancement mod. Later on in the video, I'm going to show you how to manually turn off the map enhancement mod if for some reason it does not turn off when you hit stop mod in the application. Now with that out of the way, if you have any questions, post them down below in the comments and I will get right back to you. If the video helps you out, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. And now, on with the video. Alright, so first we're going to start off with the download and installation process of the map enhancement mod. All the links will be down below in the description. Be sure to go and check those out. When you click on the link, it'll bring you up on this page of flightsim.to. All we need to do is to scroll all the way down to where it says download. Oh, and by the way, there is a new version here, 5.0.9. So we're just going to left click on the download, click on the main file. Once the download counter has finished, we will now be able to select the start download. When you do, it should populate down below in your web browser. We're going to allow that to finish. Once it does, I'll bring you guys back. All right, now that the download has finished, all we're going to do is left click on the download in the web browser here, and then we're just going to double click to run the exe file. One of the recommendations for the installation of the map enhancement tool is that we allow it to save or install to the default destination folder that automatically populates here. So we're going to do the recommendation and leave that be, and then we're just going to go down and hit the install button. Once that's done, all we need to do is hit the finish and it will automatically start the map enhancement mod for us. Once the map enhancement tool finishes the installation, you will also notice that you will have a map enhancement tool icon displayed on your desktop. All right, so now that we've got the application open, let's go through all the different features and functions. To the left of the application is going to give us the different menus in which we can choose. We're going to start with the first one and that is the start menu. In this menu, this is going to allow us to choose which map server that we would like to go with. The other thing that you will notice on this page is a first time usage notification. There will be a self-signed certificate that will be generated and added into the trust store when you enable this mod for the first time. Please make sure you accept this pop-up window, otherwise this mod will not work. Then we can go ahead and click OK on that. Just keep that in the back of your head that you may get that pop-up that's going to occur. Next, we can take a look at the different map servers that we have available in the Map Enhancement mod. So if you click on the drop-down, you're going to notice that we have five different servers now. So this is no longer just a Google Map mod. The first two servers that we have available to us are from Google. We either have the MT server or the KHM server. Each of these servers are going to function differently depending on where you are in the world. Meaning, one server may actually download a little bit faster and load than the other server. So it would be in your best interest that if you do want to go with the Google Map server, that you try both different servers out so that you can figure out which one is going to be best for your part of the world. Below that, we have the Bing map server, and this is going to give us the latest Bing maps that are available. The current maps that are in Microsoft Flight Simulator, some of the maps are over 10 years old. So this is going to bring us the same Bing maps that are available, but a much updated version of that. Below the Bing map, we have the ArcGIS server, and if you go ahead and click on that, it will give us some information here about the server. It's going to tell us here that the server provides a more natural color than the Google servers in some areas, but it lacks the high resolution data when we are flying low. So for those of you who like to do the low and slow flying, 
this probably isn't going to be the server for you. The last server that we have to choose in the list is from Mapbox. So if we tick on that, it will give us, again, some more information about Mapbox. Mapbox is going to provide better and newer images in some places, but we do need to sign up for a key to enter into the configuration. It also says here that Mapbox Access Token provides 200,000 tiles for free. To me, that means there is something in here that you're going to have to pay for if you choose to go with the Mapbox server. So that pretty much takes care of all the different servers that are available in the Map Enhancement mod. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next menu down, and that will be the Option menu. In the Options menu, we have a couple different very important things that we need to go over here. Depending on whether your Microsoft Flight Sim is a store purchase or a Steam purchase, we need to make sure that you set this properly here. If you do not, it will not work for you in Microsoft Flight Simulator. At the top of the page, we have a couple more options here that we can go over. We can auto start the mod. We can also start Microsoft Flight Sim on the mod start. If you would like to use either of these options, just make sure you come over here and tick which one that you would like to use. Below all that, we have some map options and here we are able to choose whether we want the high level of detail or the default. When we tick the high level of detail, the image server will load four images from the next LOD level. Although this can provide a higher resolution and improve image quality, the loading speed may be a little bit slower because it does have to load four times the images to get the higher level of detail for you. So keep that in mind if you want to use this option if you do not have fast internet, this may not be a good option to choose. Below that, we have the options for the Mapbox server if you have chosen that on the start menu. Here's where we're gonna enter the token that we needed to get from their website. Next down on the list, we have the cache options for the map enhancement mod. This is an added feature now so that we no longer have to do all live streaming of all the data we can actually now cache most of this data for us. This is not going to use the same cache feature as what is in Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is gonna be a separate cache feature within the map enhancement tool itself. In the option here, we have the ability to turn on and off the cache. Below that, we can also choose a storage path for the cache for the map enhancement mod. Below that, we have a little slider here so we can choose the amount of cache that we would like to put on our system. And lastly, we have the option here to clear all of the cache that is in the map enhancement mod. At the very bottom, we have some proxy settings. So if you are in a part of the world that doesn't allow Google access, you may need to add a proxy here so that you will have access to the Google Maps but I'm not sure if you need this if you are going to be using the Bing Maps or not. If you know that answer, leave me a comment down below and let me know. So that pretty much sums up everything in the Options menu. Let's head down to the next menu, which would be the Report Issues. This has some good information here, especially the FAQ page. If you're having any problems, you may want to take a look at that first before you send them an email has a lot of good info there. The last menu that we have here is the About menu, and this will actually give us any new updates that are available for the Map Enhancement mod. And it will also give us a link right at the bottom where we can click the Update button to automatically download the new version. So now you've got everything set up and you are ready to start your first flight in Microsoft Flight Sim using the Map Enhancement mod. Let's go through the startup process. You're gonna head over to the Start menu, Make sure you have the correct map server chosen. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit the start flying button. Once the image server starts, you will notice some things happen at the bottom of the application. We will have a notification for the image server as well as the NGINX server. If both of those show up good, then we are good to go to start Microsoft Flight Simulator. After you have completed your flight in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and you have exited the sim, at that point, we can then come down and hit the stop mod button. Once that is done, it will then revert everything back to our normal servers in the system. If for some reason, Microsoft Flight Sim does not revert back to your Bing Maps, 
we're going to now go over how to manually remove the map enhancement server information so that it will revert back to your Bing Maps. To do this, just go down and tap on the File Explorer. You're gonna paste this address in the address bar. The link for this address will be down in the description as well. So all you need to do is to copy and paste this in your address bar and then hit the Enter button. Once you do, it's gonna ask you how you want to open this file. I like using Notepad++, so that's what I'm going to use and then we can hit the OK button. Once this page opens, this is going to display the local host information for the server for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is what it should look like if you are using the normal Bing Maps. If for some reason the Map Enhancement mod gets stuck in the on position, then it's probably gonna look something like this or close to it. Now you can see we have these two extra lines down here below the local host. If you do have this happen to you, all you need to do is to highlight both of these lines, hit the delete button, and then go right up to the top and hit save. But keep in mind that we are only gonna do this step if you have hit the stop mod button on the map enhancement tool. You don't really wanna delete them if you still have the map enhancement tool running you wanna make sure that's closed first. But in any case, that's how you manually delete the servers from your system. So Microsoft Flight Sim will then pull from the normal Bing servers. All right, so that's gonna finish us up for today. If you guys have any questions, post them down below in the comment section and I will get right back to you. If you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick that little bell and smash on that thumbs up button. To all my Flight Simmer friends around the world, Keep the blue side up. We'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.